I remember my grandparents telling me when we were children, all these stories, but no one ever talked about the genocide. We all felt the, the burden of, of the unspoken. I remember as kids, breakfast one day, we were making pancakes for my grandparents and my grandfather was joking how this was like what they would feed the camels. And as he started to talk about the old country and the genocide, my grandmother got very flustered and said, you know, Mugurdich, <laughs> don't tell those stories. My name is Michael Aram. I'm an Armenian-American designer of objects and metal for the home. A lot of what I do comes from my heritage. One of the things I love is that objects made by hand have a soulfulness. They trace history. I don't think I could have ever dreamt of a life more fulfilling than mine, or that so many people would appreciate my work. I've been thinking about what I could make to honor the history of my forefathers. My partner, Adet, turned to me and said, why don't you do something for the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide? So I'm creating a sculpture called Migrations. My grandmother was from Kharpert. They were merchants trading carpets and clothing. When the genocide started, hundreds of thousands of families were uprooted. They had to flee their homes. Others were sent on death marches into the desert. Some witnessed the entire slaughter of their families. My grandmother spoke of how she had to eat her jewelry, swallow her coins how she escaped by being rolled up in an Armenian carpet and put on a caravan. She lived in ditches, gutters, and safe houses, until finally, seven years later, she was able to get on a ship from Marseille to the United States. She could have only survived with the help of a lot of people. Birds as a symbol was almost instinctive for me. Birds have historically been used as symbols of the genocide. There's a sense of fleeing, confusion, clusters of families, some shrieking, some as if they're not alive. At the very top, birds with their wings outstretched like crosses with the idea of either salvation or ascension. The body of the piece is high polished stainless steel, referencing, in my opinion, the greatest Armenian artistic achievement, our khachkars, a large cross carving on a rectangular stone. But mine is cracked in the shape of historic Armenia, and the country is on its side, like it's been emptied. You know, my heart is full of emotion for who we are today and the incredible debt that we owe our ancestors. It's a multiple migration for me. A migration of place, of spirit, of living to dead, of dead now to canonization. It's, it's funny how fiercely proud we are to be Armenians. I think we get much of that through our grandparents and what they went through to maintain and propagate their identities here in America. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> I grapple with how to teach my kids about the genocide. One of the reasons I created this sculpture was to be able to share that story with my children, but do it in a way that's very positive.
As we stand in front of the piece, I'll be able to say, look at your reflection. Look at us here now today as products of our grandparents' journey. We honor that migration.